Welcome back to the Ark Survival Guide. Let's all sing a song. Just kidding, I am not going to do that. But I will do a sick air guitar solo while shooting fire from a super soaker because the 2021 Ark Summer Bash event is finally here. In this guide, we're going to showcase every single item from the 2021 Summer Bash event and everything from the previous summers that's coming back this year. We're also going to show you all of the emotes and a bunch of really cool chibis that just arrived from Genesis 2. And of course, we'll tell you all of the event dates, all the dino colors that are coming with the Summer Bash event, and how to get every single item before this event is over. And if that's not enough summer fun, I'll show you how to customize your hover sails and sunglasses. And we'll wrap it up by blowing up everything in sight with a fireworks rocket launcher in a dino costume, because that's just how we roll. And if you're short on time, use the timestamps to skip straight to the parts you want to watch. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you about an awesome event coming up on July 5th that I get to be a part of, and I am so excited about it. Please like and share this video, comment and subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss our next video. And let's get started! So first off, the Summer Bash event for 2021 starts on June 30th and ends on July 14th. You'll know the event is active because you'll see this loading screen and creatures of all these different colors are going to be spawning all over the world. Or you can make a new cooking pot and check to see if there is a holiday folder in it. Now before I showcase all the awesome items you can get with this event, let me tell you how to actually get all the Summer Bash items. So you've got to make a cooking pot, and that should have a folder that says Holiday. Once we open that up, you'll see all the ingredients you need for every recipe, then add the ingredients, some fuel like wood or thatch, light up the fire, and that will let you craft any of the event items in the cooking pot. If you don't see these recipes, you might have to make a new cooking pot. Don't use a Structures Plus, any kind of mod cooking pot, or an industrial cooker. It has to be a regular vanilla cooking pot. You can cook meat and prime meat on a regular cooking fire, but if you really want to speed up the process, use an industrial grill. And just in case you didn't know this, the industrial cooker will not work for cooking meat, prime meat, or any event recipes. For the recipes that require jerky, make a preserving bin and put in cooked meat or cooked prime meat, along with one oil each, and at least three spark powder, and come back in about 40 minutes and it will have cooked into jerky. I'll have a separate guide really soon for the best, fastest ways to get tons of prime meat, and uh, we can get hundreds of prime meat from dodos and listrosaurs using this trick I'll teach you, so make sure you keep an eye out for that guide coming out probably in a couple days. Now I'll show you every item you can get in the 2021 Summer Bash event, and I'll put spawn codes for each of them in the video's description. So let's start with one of my favorite items to ever hit Ark, and that is the inflatable Rex costume. It's based on a real-life costume, and it's actually a skin for your shirt, so unfortunately you cannot use it with a Federation jetpack. But you can dye it any color you want, so if you're going to a sing-along later, this one's perfect. So these weapon skins are best to show you at night because the flare gun is now a fireworks launcher. Now you can apply one skin to a stack of 10 flare guns, and after you fire it off, you'll get a nice little fireworks display. But if you want to go big or go home, whip out the rocket launcher skin, which is also going to blast fireworks into the sky, or you can make blowing up your enemies that much more fun. And we'll show you more of this at the end of the video. And we have a super soaker that douses your enemies with fire, because it's actually a skin for the flamethrower. And there's a skin that turns a torch into a sparkler, but that also is available for an achievement. And we have a spatula skin for the club, which is great if somebody's bothering you while you grill, you can just beat them unconscious. And of course we have the frisbee, which is a skin of the boomerang, and if your friends don't catch it, it'll knock them out too. So now let's show you all the new emotes, and all the old emotes, starting with my classic favorite, the air guitar. Oh yeah. Gotta admit though, this one is so much better when you have a flamethrower in your hand. Just saying. So now we have the backflip, which is actually a brand new emote for this Summer Bash from 2021, and the classic archer flex. Oh yeah. Check out my, really? Did you just poop on me? That was a crappy thing to do. Da -dum -dum okay, that was terrible. So this is the drum solo emote, which comes in handy when you crack a really bad joke and need to cover for yourself. 
And of course, we've got the return of the classic mosh pit emote in case you need to just rock on. Yeah, great for summer parties. And the brand new hula dance. Um, and that may as well be a dance that we do. Sure, why not, right? So uh, it's actually way better in the dino costume. Actually, almost all of these emotes are way better in the dino costume. So by the way, just in case you don't know this, you actually craft the emote, which is an item, and then you consume it like you're eating food. And then you'll find that in the emote wheel underneath Summer Bash. Now we have a lot of fashion items for the Summer Bash event, so we'll show you these really quickly. So now we'll start our very fast fashion show. So we've got our retro sunglasses skin for your hat, which actually can be dyed crazy colors, and you can change the color of the lenses too. We also have the classic sunglasses skin for the older style from last year, and we've got a new angler hat skin if you're into fishing, and a floppy straw summer hat skin if you're into that kind of thing. We've also got the Uncle Sam hat, which is being worn by my parrot, I mean a uh, feather light. We also have an Uncle Sam hat for your dinos, and in order to put that on, you gotta put the saddle in your inventory, drag the skin onto the saddle, and then equip it to the dino. We have three brand new Hawaiian shirt skins in the Summer Bash 2021 event, including the cool Noglin print shirt with a Noglin holding an ice cream cone made of brains. Yay! We've also got the hover sail print shirt, which is one of my personal favorites because I love these hover sails. I'll show you how to paint them in a second. Then we've got the Shadow Mane Fishing Print for all of you Shadow Mane fans out there. Kind of love this one too. We also have all of the returning skins, including the Ice Pop Print, which is pretty cool. We've got the Bulb Dog Print, which has a Bulb Dog as a sun. Kind of fitting, right? <laughs> Gotta love that for you Aberration fans. Then there is the Sea Life Print. And of course, last but not least, the Gas Bags print, which has a Gas Bags blown up like a beach ball, which makes me really want to play beach ball with a Gas Bags. Now I'll model all of the male swimsuits, but the female swimsuits have a matching bikini top, but if you apply any of the patterns of swimsuit tops to a male character, it just looks like you have no shirt. So if you've got really high level armor and you put the skin on, it looks like you're running around in your boxers. We have three brand new swimsuits with this event, including the Jelly fish pattern, the eel pattern, there's the floaty swimsuit, and the returning classics like the Ichthy Isles swimsuit, the T-Rex swimsuit, the Alpha Raptor swimsuit, the classic Giga Poop swimsuit, the floral swimsuit, the Fish Bite swimsuit, and the Crab Fest swimsuit. And of course, it wouldn't be a new ARC event without brand new chibis like the Deal With It Dodo in his classic sunglasses. I kind of love this guy. We've also got the Chibi Straw Hat Otter, who could totally be the king of the pirates if he wants to be. And then there is the Chibi Maywing, which honestly is about the size I expected Maywings to be in Genesis 2, but he is pretty adorable. Then we have a Chibi Void Worm, which is cool looking, has nice shades of metallic colors, and it actually glows at nighttime, but it is red rarity, which means it's going to be almost impossible to find. And we have the Astro Delphus, which also has a cool glow to it at nighttime, and they come in a lot of different colors, of course, but most of them I've found have been kind of a metallic gray. But I was able to get quite a few different colors. Now, in order to get these event chibis, you've got to cook them in the cooking pot just like the other event items, and it costs 10 prime meat jerky per chibi, and you get a random chibi out of all of the chibis. There's like 400 different chibis, so you've only got like a 1 in 400 chance to get any specific chibi that you want. But we'll be doing a guide that'll help you get ridiculous amounts of prime meat and cook that up into tons of prime meat jerky, so you'll have your best chance of getting as many chibis as you can. So keep an eye out for that guide coming really soon. Now, real quick before we wrap up this guide, I wanted to show you the tech hover sails that came with Genesis Part 2 because they are a very fun summer thing. I used to windsurf as a kid at the beach and it is so much fun, but I wanted to show you how to paint these because they look amazing if you paint, especially the glowing sail, different colors, and there's some really cool effects you can get if you know what you're doing. So to paint a tech hover sail, Pull out a paintbrush, put some dye on it, and then use the trigger to attack the hover sail. 
and you'll start the painting mode. You can paint all the different regions, and if you click on region 6, that is the actual color of the glowing sail, and that's going to be the color of glowing trails that you leave as you're surfing around the sky. If you paint region 6 white, or especially black, all you can see is the different chromatic colors, so you get these really cool rainbow effects in your sail. But don't leave them sitting on the beach too long, because after one hour they will self-destruct if you don't put them back in your inventory. Now with a lot of Summer Bash events, we also get festive dino candy that turns our dinos cool colors and gives them a speed buff, but it doesn't actually seem to be in the recipes list in the cooking pot, but they could end up patching that in later. Now before we wrap up this video, I want to tell you about a couple awesome events coming up really soon. Now you probably remember that epic Star Wars event that the Architects community hosted, and the Architects are hosting their new Summer Bash event on July 10th and 11th at 1 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. They have built a massive resort in the tropical paradise of Crystal Isles, with lots of epic builds and fun games. If you play on Xbox or the Microsoft Windows 10 version of Ark, you can sign up at the link in the description in this video, but the server is not compatible with PlayStation, Epic Games, or Steam versions of Ark. There might be a waiting list at this point, but it's definitely worth signing up. And I am even more excited because Aaron Longstaff is hosting a creator playthrough event that will be streamed live on July 5th starting at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Time, and I have been invited to join. I will get to play with almost all of my favorite art creators, including the Architect Builders, Bitmore Dave, Rascal Arc, Jade Plays Games, Netty the Noodle, Terrifier, Lady Axe, Tranquility Eden, and Ash from Nitrado. I am not just a creator, I am also a fan, and I hope to get all of their autographs. I do know that Aaron will be raffling off wildcard plushies, so you can win some epic prizes if you join us on the stream. So if you haven't already subscribed to Aaron Longstaff, there's a link to his channel in the description of this video, and you should definitely subscribe so you don't miss the Creator Playthrough event. It's gonna be awesome, and I hope to see you all there. But until then, I hope you all enjoy the Summer Bash event and the holiday weekend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it around. That helps us out a lot. And drop a comment. We love hearing from you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell to enable all notifications because we have lots more videos like this coming out really soon and you won't want to miss any of them. We already have tons of other videos for you to watch right now, so check these out. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next video.